Hello everybody and welcome back to Pez 2019 in my Leeds United Master League. Again, we are trying to save my job as we are currently sitting in a very precarious position here. We started out 0-7. But luckily, we have actually won our last two matches. If we take a quick look here at our current missions, if you will, the last mission or the one that started this whole thing was all that it really said was win the next one. And at that time, the owner's trust was at 11%, and I was concerned, uh, having not really ever played this game before, that I was about to get sacked. And so... Uh, you know, ultimately I decided to obviously play out that game, see what happened. We actually won it one to nil. So that was a good, good win for us. Uh, and then, uh, then we came into game number two and actually won that one as well. Winning that one three to nil, three to nil. Although I messed up the save there. And so I actually had to replay that game offline, but still won it, but just two to one. So that was a very lucky uh, I was a little bit concerned that I was going to mess up this whole series. But in any case, all that has changed is really that the owner's trust has moved up by just 2%. So it has gone, we've won two games and it has gone up by 2%. So I think we need to continue to win matches here, win games. If we do not, then we risk losing our job. My hope, my thought is, is that if we, if we somehow get on a losing streak, we're going to be done for, but I'm not really quite sure, but that's kind of where things stand right now. I did want to take a quick look and show you uh, our current standings here in the uh, championship league here. Let's take a look at the rankings. So we actually started out in dead last when I started this series. And uh, just by winning those two, we have now jumped all the way up to 13th. So we are you know, early enough in this season that hopefully we can turn this thing around if we continue to win. So my plan is obviously to do so. So we're going to jump right into our next game here. And we are going to be going up against, I believe it is Birmingham. Birmingham City is who we're going up against in this one. We are going to... Uh, change up our formation. We've been playing a 5-3-2 formation, a little bit more of a defensive formation. We're going to flip things up. We're going to change things. We're going to go with kind of a generic, if you will, 4-3-3 and hope that we are able to kind of, you know, ultimately I wanted some more people up front, more chances for goals. So that's kind of the idea. That's what I wanted to try to do. So that's what we're going to test out tonight. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me as we're going to jump in here now to our next match, Birmingham City. Everything is set and ready to go. So we're just going to head right to kick off. No reason to delay any longer. I am very excited for this match. Ultimately, obviously looking to continue to win. We won two in a row. Can we make it three in a row today is the question. I do not know how this new formation is going to work out. I'm a little bit nervous about it, to be completely honest with you. We'll see how the first half goes. If I feel like it's not going well, maybe I'll switch it back to the 5-3-2 at halftime. But we're going to see how things go in this one. I am very excited for this match. We've got some other guys in there. Brown, this gentleman right here that you are seeing kind of playing the left wing position. He has not really seen a whole lot of playing time so far, but he is actually part of our starting 11 now that we've switched over to this 4-3-3. So we'll have to wait and see how it all works out today. Here is the starting 11 for Birmingham City. They're playing a little bit more of a 4-2-2-2 formation. Uh, things look pretty okay here. I actually forgot to pay attention and see where things stand for them. Here is our formation here. Actually, it's calling it a 4-1-2-3 formation, interestingly. But that is okay. It is the formation that I wanted to run with today. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get into this one. Again, very excited to see how this one pans out, plays out. We're going to just try to play some def defense here with Klitsch. 
Trying to keep things simple, trying to keep things in front of us. Trying to not make any silly mistakes. Don't die for the ball. Don't do anything silly as we get possession here. Let's see if we can move our, whoop, we're gonna lose possession right away. Adams has got it now. He's trying to get it to, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that guy's name. Maghoma is that one who's got it now. They're coming here with a cross. Let's get, we just gotta get that thing out of there. No! As I'm trying to just get it out of there, Birmingham City scores the first goal. Hitting all the wrong buttons. Things aren't going well here to start. We gotta settle down, I think, is what we really need to do against Birmingham City here. Kind of a short cross. Should have got, should have just kicked it out of there right there. That was the opportunity. We had the opportunity to get rid of it and get it out, but we just didn't. That just uh, it was not good at all as we had a perfect opportunity just to get it out of there and did not make the right decision. So we are down already in this one, 1-0. One and they are, wow, they are just playing tough here to start. Intercepting every single pass. Passes just aren't going where we want them to go so far. Trying to get this thing out there. Let's get this up to Pablo Hernandez. Let's get it up to Banford here. Let's get it across. Switch up the field side here. Let's get it up to Brown. Looking for a runner. Looking for a runner. Oop, that was a bad pass. It was a wasted chance. You are correct, my friend. Trying to get it back here to Klitsch. Trying to get that one in there. So strike there just wide to the left. That was a great opportunity there, but unfortunate. Just couldn't quite get it in. Need to finesse that one a little bit more. Try to get that curl there. Just did not work out. Trying to get on on it here. They've got some tough names. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names here today. Carson, I don't know if he quite hit that one. Oh, I guess he did not, as that ends up being our ball here. Goal kick. Let's try to get this one over to Ailing. Get it up to Hernandez. Ooh, missed bad pass. There's too many bad passes here to start in this one. Too many. Let's just get that one out of there this time. We're trying to make the right decision, but we keep just turning it right back to him. Bad pass after bad pass. We just got to get ourselves settled down here. <laughs> Once again, had a chance to get it out of there, but not a good pass. Ooh, nice wheel kick there. That was lucky that didn't go in. We have started out really slow here. We got to get ourselves on point a little bit. That is not a good start here for us. Let's just kick this thing short. But once again, a bad one, and they're going to have an open shot. Whoop! They messed up that. They had a great opportunity there. Wow! What is happening here with our passing? It is just not good. Let's just get this thing out of here. We need to, we need to just figure out a way to settle down here. Trying to get it in there to Baker into Brown for the goal. There it is. Nice shot. That is the equalizer there. What a play. That felt very... Wow, that was awesome. As we were able to get the equalizer there, everything feels a little wonky at the moment, and somehow, some way, we still found a way to get a goal there to Brown. Again, the thought process here with the change to the 4-3-3 was my hope would be 
that we just have more people, more chances at goals here. Baker with a nice move there. Nice pass and then a nice strike there by Brown to get that one into the top corner. Nice looking goal there. I will take it. All right, and thank you guys for joining me today. If you have not done so, please hit a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done so, and please hit that bell so you do not miss any more of this Leeds United series here. This could be fairly short as uh, we could end up getting fired sooner rather than later. The hope is obviously not as we get that nice equalizer here against Birmingham City. Things were not looking well to begin here as they have once a Again, another shot on goal there. That is disappointing. But let's go ahead and skip ahead here. That should be a goal kick here for us. Let's just keep it short here. That seems to be the make the most sense. We're going to come up here to get this one. Trying to get it up. Trying to get it up here. There we go. Lay that one off. Lay that one off. Trying to get there. Here comes Ailing. It's certain of that puppy. And oh, we missed it. How did Bamford miss that one? Bamford had a great opportunity there. And he completely whiffed the ball. That was very weird looking here. Trying to get it back centered again. And Truman, the goalkeeper, just snags it. I don't know how in the world Bamford just whiffed on the ball. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Again, we're just going to kind of try to play some tough D here. Oh, I got to get there. Got to get there. Ah, that was just too easy. Too easy for Birmingham City. That is just two easy goals. Yes, hang your head, my friend. Hang your head. As our defense is just like a sieve right now, just letting in players, letting in goals. This is what I was a little bit afraid of with the change from the 5-3-2 to the 4-3-3. I was a little bit afraid that I would give up too much in the defensive area, which I was not really wanting to do but i wanted a little bit more opportunity up it in the offense so it was a tough decision i wanted to give it a try let's just see how it continues to play out here in the first half it is still early and it is already two to one this is going to be a, maybe a little bit of a score fest here let's get it back to brown who lost it Oh, lost it again. Nice little poke there, but that's going to be intercepted. Baker's now got the ball here, who had the nice assist earlier. Brown, who scored our last goal there, gets it. Gets it back to Baker this time. Let's see here. Let's get it back to Douglas. Trying to get that one centered. Almost got it in there, but just couldn't quite get it. Kind of blocked there by the defense. Nice defensive play. Let's take control a little bit better here. Take control of Lukasin. This is kind of what uh, has worked for us in the past. But what in the world is happening? Our defense is just not there. That, is, that player is wide open. That is very disappointing. There is just not, nobody marking him at all. What is happening here? What is happening here with our defense? Great save by Capino. Trying to gotta get it out of there. They still get the head on it, but it goes over the post, luckily. Where is the defense in this one? Where is our defense? Very, very tough start here so far. Almost getting to halftime here now. 
Let's get this up to Bamford. Let's see here if we can. Mm, got that to Klitsch, luckily. Back to Douglas. Back to Brown. Here comes Lukasin up. Ooh, tried. Uh-oh, this is going to be a counterattack here. Just got to play back. Everyone's got to get back. That's all right. Nice play. And that is going to do it for halftime here. As their player, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name, has scored two goals. Obviously going for the chat trick here in the second half. Leading 2-1, to one, Birmingham City. We've got to win this one. We've got to get things together here in the second half. The decision comes with, should I switch up things here? I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to let it ride. I'm appreciating all of the offense, all of the players that are coming down on the offensive attack. I just, I like that aspect of it. Obviously, where I'm struggling is on defense. Let's get it to the middle of the field here to Baker. Let's get it outside to Douglas, up to Brown once again. He has been our assist man, although he did score a goal there in the first half. Just going to try to build something up here. Let's just try to build something up here. Trying to sneak that one in there, top corner. Hit that one too hard. Klitsch from outside the box. Why not there? Actually, it was yet just outside of the box there. Hit that one just a smidge too hard. Good opportunity there for Leeds United. That would have been another equalizer. Trying to get there. Trying to get it to the outside. Did that go out of bounds? Went out of bounds. We should pay attention here to how everyone's feeling. <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Um, everyone getting a little bit tired. Everyone's doing pretty good, actually. Let's uh, keep it as is for now. Maybe we'll think about changing some things up, getting some fresh legs in in a little bit. Let's get right back to playing here. That was a terrible pass. That is not where I meant to go with it at all. Just terrible. Oh, nice. All right, Pablo Hernandez. Let's see what you got, my friend. Get that back to Baker. Over to Douglas. Let's get that out to Brown once again. Back to Douglas. Back to Brown. Let's center that puppy. As we, oh, Klitsch had another opportunity there. Nice first touch off of his chest. Nice strike, but unfortunately, it goes out there. Kind of a weird-looking center. Just wide to the right. Had an opportunity up there in the top corner. We're getting our opportunities here, which is definitely good to see. Get that ball. Got to win that. Got to win it. There we go. We got it right back, though. It's all right. Let's get it back to the middle here with Pablo Fernandez. Back to Ailing. We're going to get Ailing involved here a little bit. Let's get this up here to Klitsch. Back to Pablo Hernandez, but that was another bad pass. Been struggling here with our passing. See if we can switch sides here. Switch sides. Not liking it unless we uh, kind of reset here. Try to reset here a little bit. Trying to get that one in. Bamford was there, but just couldn't quite get it. They're trying to come back here on the... Ooh, nice play there by Klitsch. Get it. Klitsch had a chance, but couldn't quite kick it or something there. Lukasin trying to get involved here. 
This is kind of the defense we like to play. Me just kind of taking control of Lucasen, and there they go. They kind of make a mistake. That's exactly what you want. Let's get them going up here again. Plitch is having a good match here so far. Let's give this thing to Baker. Back to Ailing. Back to Klitsch. That was a bad pass. That's not where I was pointing at all. Everybody's trying to get back. We'll keep Lucas in here in the middle. Everybody's moving a little bit slow. Everyone's seeming maybe a little bit tired here. Woo. A little bit too close for comfort there. Let's get this up to Baker. Let's get going here. Get that up to Brown. Let's get that up to Bamford. But another bad pass. They just get rid of it. But did he touch it enough to give Birmingham? No, he did not. Okay. I was a little bit nervous I was going to end up being Birmingham City's ball. We've got to get a score here. Maybe, was, maybe it's time to bring in some fresh legs. That back to Baker, over to Douglas, back to Brown. Nice defense. Just kind of like they've settled back there, and they're just not about to give me any opportunities here. Klitsch is getting really tired. We're going to have to think about taking him out, I think. Glitch, nope. Let's make some subs here. Let's make some subs. Oop. Trying to make some subs. Glitch is about done for. Let's see here. Let's get Glitch out. Let's put in Oko Sun. I think that's a great change there. Everybody at the top's kind of doing okay. I just realized it's not in here is Sice. Why why did I do that? Interesting. We're gonna put him in right now. Didn't realize he was sitting on the bench. That's not a good. Let's just make those changes for now. So then we're gonna get those changes we have been expecting. Well, Sice has been our guy. He's been the one that has scored the most goals so far. This season, let's get it over here to Douglas, over here to Brown. Ah. Centering just is not working. That was not a great kind of reset things here. Try another build up here. This is getting down to our close, getting down, getting down close here to our last opportunity. Go ailing. Ah, we're going to get a corner out of that thing. I meant to just have a nice easy pass to Sice there, but that's okay. We're going to dash. We're going to dash. Get in there. Got the header. Oh, and Truman with the save. That doesn't look too terrible. That was a great opportunity. Got to get the got to get this ball back. Running out of time. We are running out of time. Whoop, that was not a good header. Hope that doesn't end up being a corner. It is. Dang it. Get it out. Oh. Header goes up over the crossbar. We got to get this ball back and we got to give ourselves at least one more opportunity here. We are running out of time. I 
Let's go, Douglas. Trying to get it to Baker. He's getting pretty tired as well. This is pretty much going to be it. This is our last stitch effort here. Sice into Okusun. Back to Ailing. Back to Sice. He's got it. There's the cross right to the goalkeeper, Truman. Too easy. Great opportunity there, but that is going to be the match as we lose this one. Two to one. Birmingham City. No goals scored in the second half. Birmingham City pulled this one out. That makes me a little bit nervous here. Just to see what happens. I don't know. Hopefully we can survive this loss. I think it's more about that was a terrible, terrible first goal that we conceded there right at the beginning. Just a bad, bad, more than anything, this probably should have been a draw. That's kind of what I, right here, we just had, Douglas had an opportunity to get rid of it there, and he just didn't. And that was too, too easy. Douglas should have got rid of it. We did end up getting the nice goal coming up. That was a missed opportunity there as well. But in any case, that is going to be it for this game as uh, we totally, completely held possession there. 63%. Still does six shots on goal, though, which is somewhat disappointing, obviously. We kind of dominated. Uh, in my opinion, we dominated this match. But unfortunately, it doesn't show on the scoreboard as we lose this one 2-1. to one. Let's see what this does. Taking a quick look at some of the other matches here. Draw there for Ipswich and Blackburn. Bolton, 3 to nothing versus Hull City. Derby wins 1-0. Aston wins 1-0. And Middlesbrough wins 1-0. So if we take a look again here at the table, we were all the way up to 13th, and then we dropped all the way back down to 19th after that loss. So that's a tough, tough loss. Should have at least been a draw in my opinion, uh, but it's not, so we gotta move on. So let's take a look here and hope that uh, we still have a job, I guess. Brown is improving dramatically. That is good to see. A unwavering balance has increased up to 81. Ball control 77. Lofted passes and attacking prowess has all increased. So he's looking pretty darn good. He's all the way up to a 74 as well as Phillips. So those are some great, great changes. Even Phillips here has been training with his mindset on mastering the destroyer and has finally managed to develop his own playing style. That is very exciting as well. We're going to have a big jump ahead here. So Brown has been looking really good. A bit more playing time. May all he needs to make that breakthrough. He's going to get it. I think I'm going to stick with this 4-3-3. I like how it's, even though we just lost that match, I like the opportunities that it's given me on offense. Uh, and I think our defense... Just needs to play a little bit better. I don't know that uh, it was just some bad, <laughs> some bad button presses in all in all reality. But uh, a new player has been brought to our attention, so we should check that out. It seems like so far so good. We haven't lost our job yet, but I think maybe we got to win this one. Let's just take a quick look at our missions. So we did drop out, you know, after the two wins in a row, we were bumped ourselves up to 13% owner's trust. But within this loss, we went back down by that 2%. So we're back down to 11% owner's trust. No new missions. So hopefully uh, that doesn't mean if we happen to lose another one, we don't lose our job. But that will have to wait until next time as we will be facing off against Bolton in a must-win match once again. I hope you guys will join me for that one. 
If you have not done so, please hit that thumbs up, please subscribe and hit that bell so you do not miss any more Leeds United action. Thank you for joining me today and we will see you next time.